Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video on the how to make an Akashian system series. Now before this video starts, I want to let you guys know that I have a Patreon. So if you guys want to support me and want to have access to every single one of my tutorial files, they will all be available in my Patreon in the $10 tier. With that being said, let's start. So what I'm going to be starting with is making it so that whenever you get near to an egg, the billboard GUI will appear. Now to do that, we're going to enter our hatch client script and create a variable. Now this variable will be for run service. So local run service is equal to game can get service run service. And after that, we're going to get the player. So local player is equal to game dot players dot local player. Now, after that, we will go here and type in run service dot render step to connect function. And what this does is it basically runs every frame. So each frame we're going to check if player dot con distance from character and that will take v dot egg mesh dot position. And we're going to check if that's less than 10. Then we're going to print the player player. The player is near an egg. Now we're going to show the output and whenever we get near to an egg, it prints uh, the player is near to an egg. And if we go far away, it does not print anything. Now that is good. And I'm going to change this distance to a variable. So local max display distance. And that will be uh, something like 20 or 25. And I'm going to change this to the max display distance. And now if I play the game, that should be enough. So if I just get near like that. Okay, this is a bit too much. So I'm going to have that set to 15. And hopefully that's good. So if I just go like this. Okay, that is good. Now we're gonna have we'll, if it's uh, if the player is near an egg, what I'm going to be doing is looping through every single every single um, billboard egg billboard and uh, disabling it. So for underscore comma billboard in pairs in pairs script or uh, let's do egg billboards if we have variable for that no we don't so what are we parenting this to okay so in pair script dot parent dot parent dot egg billboards so can get children do if billboard dot name is not equal to v dot name then uh then we will set the billboards enabled property to true dot enabled is equal to true to false else we're gonna do billboard billboard dot enabled is equal to true and after that i'm going to just do an else else we will just do uh, billboard Temp or uh, yes, billboard temp dot enabled is equal to false. Now that should work, hopefully. So I'm going to wait three seconds, and I'm just going to get near an egg. And as you can see, this appeared. And if I do this, okay, this works just fine. And now we want to um, to see these. Uh, these pets so to do that we're gonna use a viewport frame which i think we al already have inside of the um template and yes we do now i'm going to change this to a frame now i'm going to copy the size of this okay so it's just one comma zero comma one comma zero so select your template add a frame to this and resize it change the size to one comma zero comma one comma zero and i'm going to change the uh, background transparency to one and that should be it now i'm going to delete this viewport frame and rename this to display 
and now we will have a variable in here so local uh, display is equal to so we're gonna have a reference to our display so mainframe or it, it should be template colon wait for child colon wait for child display now to use viewport frames properly I'm going to be using a module called module 3d and I'll leave a link to this in the description it's a great module so once you get it just go to the toolbox and press your uh, inventory and I'm going to go to my models and I'm just going to open up uh, module 3d so module 3d 3d and I'm going to open it up and just drag this inside of replicated storage and now I'm going to require that module so to do that I'm going to do local uh, module local module 3d is equal to require replicated storage going wait for child module 3d now after we require this module what I'm going to do is go back to the documentation and sc scroll all the way down to this and right here we're gonna want to copy this or actually copy this entire thing uh, copy uh, uh, starting from this and right here where we create the template we're gonna paste that in and local pet model change this to pet model and just change all of these to pet model and instead of frame we're gonna do display and instead of towers okay so this is weird okay so I think I remember what I did wrong so we just have to go here and do local cloned local cloned or let's just do this pet con clone pet con clone and then that should work now if I play the game that should display the each pet and nope that does not work and to fix that I'm going to just ch firstly change this to just run service because we already created a variable for that and I'm going to go back to the documentation so we're gonna need module 3d okay so, so that would take the towers okay I, I have no idea why this is not working but what I'm going to try to do is play the game and go to player GUI egg system egg billboards a basic egg and I'm going to go to the container mainframe template or I think it will be the bat display so we have a viewport frame for each thing and is it visible yes but is the z index placed correctly okay so this does not work this is really weird it creates two viewport frames and we don't want that to happen so to fix this I'm going to change this to clone temp dot display and I think that should work and now if I play the game As you can see, our pets show up, but as you can see, there is this, this little bug in here, uh, which makes it so that the uh, viewport frame uh, overlays the uh, 
rarity GY. So to fix that, just select your rarity uh, label and set the Z index to something like three. And now if you play the game, that should work. Also, I'm going to make sure to disable the weight in here. So I'm going to change this to weight 0.5 seconds and play the game. And as you can see, this works perfectly, but this is still not in order. So to fix that, I will just go to the pets or okay so to fix this I'm going to let me think about this let's create a module for the pets instead of st storing the rarity in a uh, in a number value maybe or maybe we can just use table.sort yeah table.sort will be a better fix for this so to fix that we will just go here and whenever we are looping through the pets what I'm going to do is just do local rarity is equal to and pet dot rarity dot value and what I'm going to do is create a pet table here so local pets is equal to an empty table and what I'm going to do is firstly insert before we do anything in here I'm going to create a for i comma v or for for x comma c, comma c in pairs or comma pet in pairs um egg pets call get children do and we'll just do table dot insert and um pet dot rarity uh pets comma pet dot rarity dot value and after we do that all we have to do now is just sort the table so table sort and that takes the actual table that we want to sort so the pets table and that's pretty much it now we can loop through the pets table so for i comma v or for um, uh, c comma for x comma c in pairs pets do print we're gonna print c and then we're gonna print v or uh, x now if i play the game that prints okay we don't need to print the index i'm just going to print c and see what that returns so it prints three seven forty and 50 and as you can see it prints them in order but it's n we need to flip that but I won't be flipping that yet before I do that I'm going to just delete this and right here we will check if okay so Instead of doing this, we'll instead loop through the pets table. So for underscore comma pet or for underscore comma rarity in pairs pets. So the pets table do. And then we can copy this for loop and paste it inside of this. But before we loop through this, In here we will check, we'll just do if pet dot rarity dot value is equal equal to rarity then so if it's equal to rarity then we will just cut this and do it here. 
else. So add an else here, else, continue. And if we do that, then we're going to break this. And now if we play the game, that should work. And yes, it does. It starts from 3% to 7% to 40% to 50%. And as I said, we're going to have to flip that. So I'm going to try to find a solution for this and I'll be back. Okay, so I am back and I found a fix for this. So there is this uh, deform post where it's where uh, this person is having the same problem. And it looks like we just have to copy this. I'll leave a link to this post in the description. It's very helpful. And we're going to flip the table right here. After we sort it, we're going to flip it. So the table will be the pets table so pets and change anything that says t to pets and now if you play the game that should work and as you can see it starts from 50 percent 40 percent 7 percent and ends at three percent and as you can see we have just created have just made a lot of progress in this x system and I think this is going to be it for today's tutorial. If this helped, please like the video, share it with your friends, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!